Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the Pi mining app um, on the phone for the Pi network. And so what the Pi mining app is, I'm going to get into some detail here in a little bit and read from an article um, that has a lot of insight in it. And so I'll also give you guys the link to that article. You guys can do your own homework on it and see what it is. Pi itself is not released where you can mine it, but there's no finite value. There's no uh, tangible value. You can't trade it for anything. You can't purchase anything with it. Um, they're hoping by the end of 2021, uh, somewhere in the end of December or maybe January 2022, it's going to actually go live and there'll be a finite value placed to it. But for the time being, you will be able to mine this for free with zero risk. And so that's what I want to stress in today's video is you can sign up with zero risk um, you can it's an app that you're gonna put on your phone and you can mine from your phone without draining the battery without using your data and it's very incredible and I encourage you to stay tuned to this video and learn some about the Pi network so here's the article I found on capital.com and it's basically talking about the Pi network um, what their prediction is where it might be going what it is uh, so let's just I'm gonna skip around here a little bit I want to kind of introduce you guys if you have no idea what the Pi Network is. Basically, it's a digital currency project. It's not currently, uh, doesn't currently hold any monetary value, but you can be accruing coins before it even goes live. Pi Network is a digital currency project that aims to keep the cryptocurrency mining accessible as the centralization of the first generation currencies like Bitcoin has put them beyond the reach of everyday users. You just look at the price of Bitcoin, it's 63,000, over $63,000 for one coin. Most people can't afford that even though we can buy pieces of it. it it's pretty unattainable to actually get one Bitcoin now. The Pi Network, developed by a team of Stanford graduates, enables the users to mine coins using the mobile phone app validating transactions on a distributed record so basically from our phones we could be mining coins you can start this right now if you would like unlike nodes on networks such as Bitcoin that use proof-of-work protocols Pi nodes use an algorithm based on stellar consensus protocol the SCP Pi nodes validate transactions on a distributed ledger and reach a consensus on the order of the new transactions that that ledger records. Security circles build a global trust network that prevents fraudulent transactions as transactions can only be validated on the shared ledger if the trusted node approves them. As of September 2021, the user base had climbed to 25 million up from 14 million in March 2021 huge huge jump and it's continuing to jump so if you would like to mine Pi I would suggest the sooner the better Pi coin or Pi is the cryptocurrency that runs on the Pi network and as with other cryptos such as Bitcoin it was designated to undergo a regular halving to protect its scarcity having is when the number of coins a miner receives for processing new transaction is reduced by half and it usually occurs when a s certain milestone is reached. Pi mining rate halved from 1.6 Pi an hour when it reached 100,000 users halved again to 0 0.4 Pi an hour when it reached 1 million and halved again to 0 0.2 pi when it reached 10 million and it will continue to have reaching zero at 1 billion users here's a little graph that basically shows you how they did the halving and what they plan on for the future during the project's current second phase users can volunteer to test the Pi node desktop software on their computer the Pi wallet and Pi browser were released for testing in f the 1st of April 2021 and on the 28th of June a developer portal software development kit SDK and other resources were released 
So basically they're going through and allowing people to come up with different apps or uses for Pi Coin, whether that be uses if you go ahead and do work for somebody, they can pay you out in Pi. There's going to be an uh, online store where you can purchase things for Pi Coin. Uh, there's going to be many different things that they're looking at, and that's where the developer portal comes in. Here's the Pi Roadmap. So March 14, 2019, it was officially launched. We go down. I'll just let you read this real quick. So 1,000 engaged, 10,000 engaged, 1 million engaged. We get up to 10 million engaged. Now a Pi Wallet and Pi Browser are released on April 1st of 2021. And then on June 28th, Pi releases the Developer Portal. And this is very important because this is where people are starting to think about how we're going to be using Pi in the future. Pi hosts its first hackathon for the community to build Pi together. So that's where they're really diving into that. September 24th, 25 million engaged pioneers. And it's just going to continue. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to look at the Pi coin price prediction. Like I said before at the beginning of this video, Pi currently has no finite value. You can accrue the coins, but there's nothing to use them on currently. As with other digital coins at launch, the Pi cryptocurrency value is likely to start at a relatively low level against the US dollar and rise as usage grows. What do some of the price forecasts suggest? Both cryptocurrency and data provider coin market cap and algorithm based forecasting site wallet investor list a current value of 0 0.007077 so basically uh, seven tenths of a penny for Pi coin in March of this year wallet investor had a Pi cryptocurrency prediction of 1.32 cents with a downside at 0 0.00743 Here's something interesting. Depending on the number of cryptocurrency users and exchanges that adopt Pi, the bull case could see the coin's price launch at 16 cents each and eat and reach $1 a year later. According to crypto exchange Changely, over the long term, the price could rise to $5 in five years' time. So this could very well take off, is what they're saying. It's important to keep in mind that cryptocurrency markets remain extremely volatile, making it difficult to accurately predict what a coin's price will be in a few hours, and even harder to give long-term estimates. As such, analysts can and do get their predictions wrong. We recommend that you always do your own research, and I do as well, and consider the latest market trends, news, technical, and fundamental analysis, and expert opinion before making any investment decisions and never invest more than you can afford to lose. The wonderful thing about Pi Coin currently is you cannot lose any finite money. It is completely free. So this is why I encourage people, if you're serious about investing in cryptocurrency, it would be good to get into this while it is still free and eligible and before you can actually buy the coins. You can start accruing them. All right, so here's the home screen on my phone. And right here you can see I have the Pi app downloaded. I'm already all logged in, so I'm just going to click on it. It's going to open it up. And I have it all set up in here already. So let's look at what we have. At the very top, right up here is where you see that's the amount of coins that you have in your Pi network wallet. Um, next you have the chat function. You have your security circle which we'll talk about that. That's where you're going to be able to accrue more coins with that. This is the number of people that you've brought into the system, the number of pioneers that you've referred to the Pi Network. And as many are as engaged, that's going to help you accrue po coins as well. And then the little lightning bolt down here, that's basically you being involved. Every 24 hours, that's going to go dead and you have to go back in there and all you do is you just touch that there'll be a little notification letting you know hey you know you stop mining pi you want to go back in the app and just touch that lightning bolt in order to reactivate your status and so that's really good because it keeps people engaged 
So let's go ahead up in the left hand corner. We have all the different uh, things we can look at as well. Let's just look at earn pi right here. So let's look at earn pi. So this is talking about how as a pioneer, as somebody being involved, just by hitting I want, you know, every day I want to reactivate my status, I get 0 0.10 pi an hour. All right, so that's just me by myself in there, just keeping myself active. So right underneath Pioneer is Contributor. This is talking about your security circle. So you're basically letting the Pi Network know you have a number of people that you've referred that you actually know are true people. They're not AIs, they're not computers, they're not hackers. These are true people that are actually out there and uh, legit. So with that being said, you're verifying them or you're vouching for them so you're gonna gain more pi per hour just for having your security circle full below that we have the ambassador this is as many people as you have you bring on board I currently have 10 new pioneers that I have referred to the Pi network with that being said seven of them are active and four of them are inactive out of the seven that are active I'm gaining a certain amount of pi per hour because those are active, which leaves my total at 0.54 pi an hour at this moment. So back on the home screen, we're going to go to the upper left hand corner, the menu bar over here. One of the things that you want to be able to look at is the white papers. So that's going to give you a lot of your core information about what pi is and what's going on and that's going to give you a lot of detail. Uh, in the chat, there's also a lot of stuff being said in the chat, and there's some good information, but there's also a lot of people who are newbies and asking very basic, simple questions because they never went and read the white paper. So I encourage you, if you're new to this pie, go ahead and get in there, read, read about it, learn about it, um, and then make a decision whether this is right for you. Again, if you're going to do this, you're going to need a referral code. So I'm going to post that referral code again in the upper right hand portion of this video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about the Pi Network and where it's going. Uh, I encourage you to get involved because uh, it's better to risk nothing now and not be left out in the future like we all are kicking ourselves about Bitcoin and Ethereum and Dogecoin. So I encourage you to get involved now while the price is zero. Um, you really can't lose. So thank you guys. Please subscribe to this channel. I know it's a newer channel, but we're working on getting our views up. Uh, please like this, share this, and share it with your friends. Maybe you can get some referrals of your own. So thank you so much. Have a great day.